Hey guys, and welcome back to a Resident Evil Village. When we last left off, uh, we've actually managed to upgrade our inventory and find ourselves a swanky new handgun. Which kind of makes me feel like I wasted a whole heap of ammo. A whole heap of ammo? A whole heap of money on uh, the previous Lemmy handgun. But hey, it is what it is. So, let's go. At least the upgrades stay. Oh yeah, we also went fishing and got some fish, didn't we? Yes, yes. Um, now, I believe we found ourselves a new tool. We started fighting vampires again, which was a good time. Because those guys suck and are pretty easy to kill, apparently. Yes, we need another key for that area, which we don't have. Uh, now. Right, so these wells are actually... That's interesting. The wells are actually showing up on the map. Which is cool. Now, we can't open these, can we? No. Which is a little bit frustrating. We need to find a house that has a red chimney. Apparently. That in itself should be that hard. Now, I think we went through this one. This is the house that has uh, a lock to be picked. We can creep our asses through here. Oh, did we open that one? Ah, oh, hey friend. There's a dead gentleman in the toilet. Well, he went the way of uh, the lawyer in Jurassic Park, I guess. Ah. Now, I appreciate we can jack this thing up. But. I actually thought we were going to move it. Literally move it. Through, you know, mechanical means. I guess not. Does this mean that... <sighs> yeah... I was going to say, does that mean we're not going to be able to come back through that way? And what the f fuck jumped on us? Well, who cares? Oh, hey, friend. Wake up. Come on. Come get it. There you go. Oh, you want some too. Lovely. We like it when it's a family affair. Yeah, this... Gun definitely feels like it's got a little bit more pop to it. Which we like. Now. Let's go down this way. So. Uh, oh, we haven't actually looked at this yet, have we? I haven't looked at this for a while. The Duke appeared out of a horse on car. Seems to know what's happening. Don't try. Right. The castle looks like something straight out of a gothic horror movie. Right. Can't find Rose anywhere. Yeah, that's it. Okay, we're up. So, that uh, lady... Um, Dimitrescu, I think her name was. Turned into a monster, but I was able to kill her and escape. I found a strange flask. She said, you'll never see your Rose again. Why can't I get that out of my head? Very nice uh, sketch as well. Rose's body is in these flasks. Who the fuck would do such a thing? My brain can't keep up with everything happening right now. The Duke did say there was a way to save her. It's hard to believe him, but the only thing I can do is ask the man that lives in the house with the red chimney. Right. Well. Come on, dude. Ah, hey, friend. Come on. Yeah, the more the merrier. The more the merrier. The more the merrier. Right, let's try and make these shots as accurate as possible. It would be awful if I cleansed this entire village. Get off me. Get off me. Might want to get some cream for that uh, wound there, Ethan. Pretty sure these things are diseased with all sorts. Okay. Oh. Oh, you're a bit of a different sort, aren't you? You've protected your head. 
Yes, you have armor. That's cute. You've got armor. I've got a shotgun. I think my shotgun is probably enough to put you down, big boy. Or maybe not. We might need to get... Oh, I used the landmine, didn't I? I used that. Okay. So, where's your little weak spot, mister? I guess it's your body. But, ow, thank you. Thanks for that, dude. Ooh. Yep. Yep. <laughs> right, so we've got a big boy. We've got a very big boy to deal with. So, what do we actually have? I guess we will go through those guys again. Let's just quickly check up here. I think we're going to be using uh, grenades on this dude. Because he's a bit of a sausage. But that's okay. We have plenty and plenty and plenty of equipment to deal with him. Wasn't there s something that we possibly could do in here? Oh, someone's having a good time out there. Yeah, that big guy. He doesn't fuck around. Oh. Got a pig. Oh, God. Okay. I... Oh, drops meat. I guess everything's just out to attack you. Bloody hell. And that leads us back out here. How come there was a pig there now? Apparently there's still more stuff to do in here. Hmm. What would that be? There's some injections. Uh, I guess they've been giving the piggies injections of something. Um. What was it in here? Ah. Right, right, this place is lot picked. We really need to find some more picks, don't we? There ain't many of those going, by all accounts. So. Now, I wonder what the point is in cooking up food. I guess it's a healing item. Restores health. Makes sense. And this has taken us back full circle. Right, yeah, because we did that in the last video. Okay. So now we've just opened up Metrovania style a new way to go. Cool. Alright. So I'm guessing the way to go is this way. Which is fine. We're just going to have to be a little bit more wise. <clears throat> you know, we could lay a landmine for the fucker, actually. That is definitely something we could do. Come on, buddy. Let's do this once more. Once more. Wow, you get a few upgrades in your handgun and these guys suddenly aren't up to much. In a way, it's a good thing to see some more powerful enemies because I think we needed them. Right, who's next? You. Come on, dude. Bring your brothers, bring your mothers, bring your daughters. There you go. Oh, was there three of them last time? I guess so. There we go. That's it. Then there was two. Then there was one. Yeah, get the upgraded handgun, guys. 
<laughs> get the upgraded handgun, then they're pretty trivial. You know what isn't trivial, though? This guy. Now, these aren't that expensive to make. Now, what we don't want... What we don't want... Is a random shitty enemy to set that off. Ooh. Oof, that hurt him. Oh, we can see his head now. Which is nice. Ooh, okay. That's the trick. Perfect crystal skull. So that's the trick with those bad boys. Remove the head. Ooh. Locked due to missing owner. It is locked no more. I'm loving this exploration. Hang on, ammo. We actually needed that. Oh, hello. We actually really needed those handgun bullets. I may... Oh, nice. I might have to make some more. Oh, hey, friend. Come out into the light, my friend. Allow me to cleanse your body. There we go. One bullet at a time, dude. One round at a time. Pathetic. Pathetic. Damn heretics. Not worth my time. Okay. Bullets. Ooh. Ooh. That was a lot of bullets. You just got a 25 pack of ammo. Don't mind if I do. Alright, let's put the meat over here. I'm guessing that meat's all nicely wrapped up okay I guess that's that right let's see what's in the next building yeah this whole open world esque exploration -y type thing works beautifully it really does especially with a bit of monster to whom it may concern due to Luther's long absence I am keeping hold of his house key please find me if you need it Yosef Simon the gardener yeah well that's a kick in the knickers I kind of wanted to go raid his uh, abode now. Right, yeah, so we should be able to unlock this with that iron key. I recognize that symbol. Just when you think you start running out of ammo, there's just like a pack of a million bullets. Okay, so I'm guessing we're reopening up all of these locked gates. We are, actually. Which is quite nice. Ah. Oh, look at that. That's illustrating that we took out the goat in that area. I guess there's chickens there. Let's just go back because I want to use the iron key. Uh, the iron key. The padlock. Let's bust that open and see what's hidden. Or the pick, the lock pick, I should say. Yeah, we haven't been sleeping very well because the cats are going crazy. They're quiet at the moment. The missus is actually just like playing with them, which is distracting them so I can get a video done. Ooh, there we go. Um. But yeah, we, we're, we're not getting a lot of sleep at the moment. 
Oh. Seven big juicy rounds. Now, is that everything? That is everything. But. Where was that other little house? Ah, this is the way we came in, if I remember correctly. Now, we have to go back there later anyway, so we'll go back there later. Let's keep pushing forwards and exploring this village. This is so fun, just exploring this place, man. I'm hoping um, this is a way that Resident Evil is going to go in the future. Because I think they missed a trick with Resident Evil 3 as well. Resident Evil 3 Remake could have had these kind of exploration areas. It would have been quite nice. But, you know. I mean, they took a lot of... Uh, well, it took a lot. They made some very... Ah. Well, Will. They made some very interesting choices, shall we say, with 3 make. They definitely could have taken some liberties, for sure. Right, so where does this go? Oh. <gasps> to the chicken coop. And some scrap. Ah, there's the red chimney. Okay. Right, let's go get some chicken gizzard. Oh, come on, don't make me waste bullets on you. Thank you. Hey, we actually do get some poultry. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Right, I have some gunpowder. Can't have too much of that. Here, chicky, chicky, chicky. It's okay. I shall ease your suffering. There you go. Feel better for that. Oh. This dude seems a little bit more well to do than the others. So we can go up there. There's a pot, but we can't cook in it. Do we just combine the food? I mean, that doesn't seem to make sense. Okay. We'll take the pipe bomb. Get the feeling this guy was getting a... Uh, ooh. Where's this? Right. This guy was getting ready for, for war, I guess. Didn't even notice this little hidey hole. Now, can we actually make pipe bombs? Did we buy that ability? No. I'm just wondering what's more efficient. Is it more efficient to make pipe bombs or is it more efficient to make landmines? I'm guessing the mines do more damage. But obviously that is a guess. Lock from the other side. I guess we've got to go up and over. Up and over. Now is there going to be some kind of mini boss in here? That's the question. Oof. Almost tempted to toss a frag into this thing. Oh. Oh. Are you just a normie? Yeah, he's just a normie. Uh, I thought he might be uh, a little bit tougher than that. Yeah, looks like he was making buns, which appears to be quite the pastime in this place. Oh, ah, oh, he's got. I mean, how bad of a guy could he be? He's got pictures of kittens. 
Okay, so February 1st. Sacrifice two goats to Mother Miranda. Alright. February 3rd. Offered wool to Mother Miranda. She instructed I find her a list of drugs and tools in the next few days. I wonder what for. Yeah, a bit of a strange request. Uh, February 8th. No messages from Mother Miranda. Yet the livestock won't stop their ruckus. February 9th. I was instructed to take this, the items to the cave church at sunrise. Ooh, but what I saw was frightful. The great four lords were there and Mother Miranda was holding a child. She whispered something and touched the child. I can't explain it, but the child turned into a white crystal. Then she... I couldn't help but speak and I asked her why she did such a thing. Mother Miranda just smiled at me. This is the chosen child. She will return to her origins from no matter what befalls her. Then she... Oh! She will return to her original form no matter what befalls her. Okay. Then she gave each lord a part of the crystal in a flask and they left. I forgot to bow to Mother Miranda before I fled. I'm still shaking. What did she do? What is that child? Right, so it's to do with the mold monsters then. Okay. I'm guessing the winged key is but a single piece. Three more parts are needed to make it whole. Alright, cool. Okay. So now we have a four-winged key. Damn it. Better see the Duke again. Hmm. Are you gonna be shouty shouty at the Duke? Oh god. Harsh. Wow, this is Throwing handgun bullets at us. Like it's going out of style, man. Okay. Can we open this? No. Right, let's get out of it. Very interesting. Okay, so now we're here again. Right, let's start having a little look at these wells. Now, what is in the well? I do like the fact we have telekinesis. Oh! Okay. That's completed now, is it? There's only two parts? Uh, right. Very valuable figure. All right, you wouldn't have thought it, but sure. Uh, we used chem fluid. Oh, this place is open now. Very nice. Teddy bear. Well, this place. Mine this place out. Okay. Now, is that a combinable item? I wonder. Apparently not. Um, okay. Doesn't say. Yeah, I'm guessing anything that we find that is combinable is, you know, it, it would mention that. Be a bit shit otherwise. Now, uh, let's where poultry so the best way back there is up and around okay now let's go see what's in the other well um can we go that way Uh, 
Uh, I guess we can. A little bit confused at the map, but that's not the map's fault. That's because I'm stupid. Right, this way. It doesn't look like enemies respawn that often, which is a bit of a shame. Oh, yeah. Uh, actually, we could just crawl under this way, couldn't we? Oh my god, this is like the most fun I've had with Resident Evil in years. Um, Alright, let's stick that in. Oh, a lockpick. Okay. Wasn't expecting a lockpick, but sure. Now... So there's still something in here as well. Apparently. Oh. Ah. Yep. We'll have that. Okay, so one piece at a time. So now we can go back that way. Wasn't there... I remember there being, like... Is it three wells? We haven't been up that way yet. There's still something in Louise's... Oh, can we go to, into Louise's house now? Should we have a look? Be rude not to, right? No, we can't go that way yet, can we? No. Yeah. Let's go check out Louise's house if we can. Get the feeling there will be goodies. Uh, right. Now, where was the thing there? I guess we might as well use it. Please be something good. Uh, seven shotgun. Yeah, sure. I guess. Better than a kick in the balls, that's for sure. Now. Out this way. Now, Louise's house was this way. We're almost out of time, but... I think it's worth investigating her house. Can we go this way? Probably not. Mm, six wings. Okay. That's fine. Right, well, let's go to Louise's house. Might be a slightly longer video, but as always, I won't tell if you don't. Keep it to yourselves. Now. Oh. Uh... Oh, we got actual beasties. Does that mean stuff's back in these buildings? No. No. Okay. Right. Let's go through the fields. So it does look like these were actually people. Come on, dude. Follow me. Oh, God. Ow. Ow. Thanks for the kicking. Right, you're fucked now. I think these guys got a little bit stronger. Since we've last dealt with them. They've definitely burnt some villagers here. Which is a little bit ghastly. Oh, look at it. It's all burnt down. That's really cool. I love the fact that we can come back here now. 
I'm hoping this is actually a bonus and not something that we're supposed to be doing. Alright, come on you little bastards. Might actually want to start using some of these shotgun shells. There we go. Bit of clay beastie shooting. You're done. Yeah, you're done, son. And you. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. There we go. Want another one? That's fine. We've got shells to spare. Oh, you're not done yet. You are now. Ooh. Explosive rounds. Shit. Didn't mean to do that. Explosive rounds. Louisa's necklace. Magnum ammo. The hell? Can we actually get back in here? Maybe we can't get back in there. Or maybe we just have to go another way. Oh, that was a treasure box, I guess. Ah, right. Come on, piggy. Wow, you're a tough one. That was a tough pig. Oh, that's quality meat. Okay. Heaven forbid we have low quality meat. Right. Three pipe bombs? Uh, okay. We shall take them. Right, I guess it's probably about time we should go back and see the Duke. So, can we not get in here anymore then? Uh, those two doors are locked. I'll do a bit of uh, digging, I think, um, off camera, see if we can get back in there, but that's fine. Right, let's go back and see the Duke. I'm losing frames again, I don't know why. Maybe because I'm recording, I don't know. Okay. Now, we could end it there, but nope, I want to go make some money. Oh, we haven't raided this well either. Okay, maybe there's more wells than I thought there was. Necklace with two holes. Hmm. Necklace with two holes, you say. Uh, right, so that takes two things. Teddy bear. Slightly dirty teddy bear. The Duke will probably buy it. We've got a lot of stuff here. Hang on. Louisa's necklace. Necklace stone. Necklace with key. Ah, Louise's key. Is that for a house? Wonder where we can use that to. Necklace stone. Right, so we can't combine that with the other neck. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Right, let's go see the Duke. Where was he? Ah. We still can't...
Oh. Juicy game. Alright. Okay, not really sure what that's about. But I'm sure all will become clear in time. Uh, can't go through there. I thought that was going to be some kind of rare treasure, to be honest. How was it? Did you learn anything? I found these feathers. Now tell me how to fix this like you said you would. Settle down. First you must use that key and collect all of your little roses flasks. Where are the rest of them? There are four in total. You have the one, and the other lords have the rest. Lords? Mother Miranda is the cold, calculating ruler of this village. Four lords serve under her. The first you've already met, the Lady Demitresque. The second lives deep in a valley of mist, the Dollmaker, Donna Beneviento. None of her playmates have ever come back from that dank old estate. The third is Moreau, a being of twisted flesh that lives in the reservoir past the windmills. It is said that he is not the only monster that lives in those waters. The fourth and most dangerous is Heisenberg. He works in his factory on the village outskirts. And the project. Let's just say parts of the human imagination are better left alone. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. So, can we do those in whatever order we want? I like it. So, do each of these... these People have if their you own. truly wish to save your daughter, you must first gather the four flasks. I'll do you a personal favor. I've marked the Lord's locations on your map. Some treasures still lurk in this village. I'm sure each one will prove of great use to you. Why are you doing all this? Why, it's all part of our first-class customer service. Please do come again soon. I hope we find out more about the Duke, because he's well, then, feel free to ah, yes, quite interesting. Find some quality ingredients and bring them to me. Oh, the Duke's Kitchen. You kill it, we cook it. What the fuck? That's so cool. Okay. Right, large crystal. Uh, I'm guessing that's not combinable. That's not what... Oh, yeah, it's just a crystal skull. Whoa, dude. Dude. We are unbelievably rich. I thought that necklace stone we might be able to use. Oh, God. Poultry. Uh, cannot be eaten as is. Rare bluebird that could only be found in this region. Rare ingredients cannot be eaten. Quality meat. You can sell these for a lot of money. Or we can cook them. Ah! Curious. Right, gunsmithery. Uh. So, do we have anything here? We can get the... Cheek, that's 20 fucking grand though. Uh, we will get the ability to make pipe bombs. Are you eyeing that one? Mmm, I bet you did, you naughty little sausage. Uh, I will take a uh -huh. one of those just because. Um, reduces weapon sway. This doesn't seem to be much of a problem, to be honest. And a high magnification scope again. I more of a luxury than a, a this requirement. Is an investment. Yes, apparently so. Herbed fish. Oh, health slightly increases permanently. 
damage taken when garden uh, guarding decrease. Oh, these give you permanent buffs. Health greatly increases permanently. Fine, we don't have any finest fish. Very interesting. Okay, that's Please really bloody cool. Right, I'm going to save the game here, guys, because we are out of time. When we return, we're probably going to start off with a hearty meal or ten. And then we're going to decide where and where to go. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.